So a very good evening. Uh, we're ten minutes late because we have, we've been here forty minutes already. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, the uh, internet gremlins have been at, at us. Did Did you drink any leprechauns whiskey or anything like that, Marty, during the week or anything like that? Did you? Ooh. I, I, I try and avoid it as best I can. <laughs> Same here. It's not a, never a good idea to do that. Never a good idea to do that. Now, uh, we've got uh, plenty of time this week because we'll we'll run over 10 minutes uh, or uh, we'll see how it goes because I have a feeling the gremlins are going to attack us again tonight. Don't you? I, 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 I can feel it in the air, Justin. I can feel it in the air. We, we, might, we might be wrong, but touch wood, touch wood. Uh, it, it'll uh, it'll go uh, fairly well. I'm just watching the auto-generated captions coming up here, just to make sure that when I say the word six, six, <laughs> it says six. Yes, this this could prove um, uh, <laughs> detrimental to us. You, know? <laughs> you may say the wrong thing at the wrong. It moment. comes it comes up with six when I say it. Yeah, <laughs> there there you go, there you go. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> How's your week been? It's been, it's been uh, yeah, pretty top drawer, top drawer. Good week. Okay, you know? all right. Um, I'm, gl I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to hear it. Yeah, so, yourself. So, it'd be very polite for me not to ask about your week. How's your week? Uh, well, the tooth's improving slightly. I, I, I've now taken to the, the having some whiskey every single night. Always a progress. Always <laughs> progress. Whiskey every night to try and and uh, knock the uh, sort of stuff out of it. Uh, so, uh, so what what have you got for us this week? No, um, I, 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 our broadcast. I think there was a bit of it went out that we did, and then we thought it wasn't going out. I think it was a delay or something. I don't know. But went out. So just a recap. This is about um, the letter E. So this is to, to E or not to E. Which, to repeat, that this is nothing to do with ecstasy tablets. This is not what you're going to do at a party in a, in a field somewhere. Okay? This is about a, a topic that a lot of people get very, they get very upset about this. There's, there's people who write articles. Um, and normally what happens is it's people in the US write an article about Scotch whiskey and spell it with an E. And lots of Scottish people get very irate and send over letters possibly death threats, um, basically to say uh, it's not spelt with an E, it's spelt properly, it's spelt without an E. Now, uh, this, it's one of these things, pointless arguments, because it really can be spelt any way you like. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you, well, you, you've, you've, I think you over the pictures, uh, I'll show you why some countries spell it differently and, and how that all came about and stuff. And, well, it's interesting enough. It's quite interesting whenever you see um, how it came about. Okay, so that's that's what we'll do. Um, I, I did, I actually done proper, I wouldn't say research, but looking stuff up this week. Um, <laughs> because, because I wanted to find out what countries actually do it all around the world. Um, it's quite Famous that Ireland spell whiskey with, with an E and Scotland spell without. So I wanted to check and see what other countries were doing, uh, and, and it was quite interesting. Uh, hopefully, this will this will be interesting enough. We'll go on a, a journey all around the world tonight. So we will. Okay. Okay. Yes. So where are we going to head to first? Then what we're going to do is we're going to. I, I have covered this before, but I, I won't briefly go over it again. I'm just going to pour myself a. a the drama of this lovely stuff, a wee half of this wonderful okay. uh, uh, port cast finished uh, Bush Mills, superb stuff. Um, steam car, uh, uh, steamship range, very nice, very nice. Attitude. Anyway, right. The word whiskey comes from the Gaelic, uh, Irish Gaelic, Ushkaba uh, or Ushkabea, okay, which means uh, the water of life, okay. We've been over that. But what happened was it was. Uh, it was kind of shortened down, you know. It's a, it's a bit like if, if someone's called Michael, it's shortened down to Mickey or that kind of thing. So it went from Ushkaba to Ushki. 
then uh, if you're ever on the north coast uh, of, of, of Ireland, up near where I'm at here, um, they wouldn't say whiskey. They would say whiskey. Whiskey. You know, it's a, it's a different pronunciation. So it got anglicised and became whiskey. That sort of sharper note in it. So it was whiskey. And it was spelt basically whatever way you want it. So Ushki, U-S-H-K-E-Y, it was spelled U-S-H-K-I-E. There was no standardised spelling, okay? Now, we'll go forward a little bit and we'll go to the U.S., the, U the old U.S. of A. Um, and after the American War of Independence in, in 1776, they had to raise money to try and basically pay for the war. Um, they tried various tax-raising measures, but in 1791, a man called Alexander Hamilton decided to bring in a tax on whiskey, okay, on on on, uh, on liquor, so they would say in the States. Now, it was the, the, uh, the first time a tax on a domestic product that happened in the new the new independent USA. Um, Hamilton had written a ration book for for uh, for soldiers and what they were a, a part of the rations and in it he refers to whiskey and he spells it both ways. He spells it with an E and without an E. However, when in 1791 the the act was drawn up it was spelled W-H-I-S-K-E-Y. Now, as I'm sure you're well aware, once something's done by a government, as such, that's kind of it standardised. But certainly if you bring in a, a, a law, as, as this was, a, a tax, it was sort of standardised that that was how it was spelled. Um, it, was, it was brought in really to raise, well, uh, probably about $70 million. Uh, are you, later, are, you, are you telling me that they couldn't tax it if it was spelt the other way? No, that wasn't. No, it was. It was just that was the way it was spelt on on the basically a legal document, and thus then that was really how it was spelt all the way across. If you tried to con the way out of paying it by putting a different spelling on it, that, you weren't going. The, the tax man <laughs> likely that kind of thing, Justin. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, I thought so, it was too. I thought it was too good to be true. No, but basically, it was a, it was standardised in, in sort of a legal definition, if you like, and that was how then the US government spelt it. Um, it led to the first rebellion in in US, um, and quite closely connected to to this part of the world, to Ulster, uh, because it was the Scots Irish in the US who. Well, lots of them, lots of them fought alongside Washington, and lots of they were the people who were going to be probably most severely affected by this law or this tax. So they rose up in rebellion. It was very quickly put down, but the the government in the U.S. made a concession and basically did away with the the the, the tax. They they changed it and taxed other things. But it was it was fundamentally important to that that time to try and raise. The money to pay for the, the the war of independence so that was it standardized in the us uh back over in in the uk it was pretty much de rigueur that most places spelled it without any e. now when i say most most places i mean uh scotland and ireland now i have uh, a couple of, I don't tend to have a lot of this stuff. Uh, I, I sort of shipped these out of, uh, of a cupboard. Um, these old whiskey um, advertising plates. Now, you see that one there? Uh, cork Irish whiskey. Spelled without an E. Okay. So there is this sort of misconception that uh, cork whiskey was spilt with an E, and uh, it really wasn't. Um, our old friends of this this mirror, our old friends in Dunvalls, we had last week, 
Um, see, spilt without the way. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it was pretty, it was fairly common. i just set these out of the way, two cents. It was fairly common that that was how they were spilt, yeah. So you'll see. Yeah. Paddy's whiskey, et cetera, et cetera. So most uh, whiskey producers in in Ireland spelled it without an E. Okay. Now, as we've talked about before, um, Irish whiskey went through a, a, a total total collapse, essentially. Um, and what happened was the, the, the distilleries in Dublin essentially shut down. All, all through Ireland, they were shut down. Until, really, you ended up, you had, in essence, two distilleries. In practice, you really only had one running. All of the, the, the distilleries in Dublin shut down and moved to Cork. You still had little old bush mills up on the, the north coast, who always, and I have a, oh, yep, they always spilt theirs EY. Bush mills always spilt theirs EY. Okay. Right, right. So, Irish distillers amalgamated. Uh, they, they, they basically they were a monopoly of whiskey production in Ireland, and they decided to standardise the, the the spelling of it to put in the e, essentially as a marketing ploy, so that it was spelt the same way as it was in the states. That's essentially why Irish whiskey is spelt with an e. There is a story. And funny, a, a lady repeated this to me earlier on today, that uh, Scotch whiskey uh, spells it W-H-I-S-K-Y and that nobody else can make whiskey, so nobody else should spell it that way. The, the truth of the matter is the vast majority of countries do spell it the same way as, as the Scots. The countries that don't, and I, this is where my, my, my looking around um, today, uh, or, or all week really, um, it comes into play. The, the countries who spell it the way the Irish spell it might be might surprise some people. Um, the Chinese... Well, when they spell it, they spell it whatever way they like. Um, there, there's really only one whiskey producer in in China, and on their different bottlings, they have they, they, they do spell it a couple of different ways. Uh, the the Gaolong uh, Distillery, and they they spell it both ways, just whatever way it, it takes their fancy. There, you, there you go. Now they have it spelt with E there on that one. Exactly. But in some of the other ones, they don't. They just spell it, spell it without the Okay? Right. I'm with you. Yeah. Now, another uh, country is Hungary. And the, uh, they have four distilleries. Um, and this is the Gemenek distillery. And they spell it with the knee. Now, again, another country... And this is this is more understandable why this country would do it, but Mexico spell it EY. Um, they have the, the you see there the two compadres whiskey. It's close to the US, so it's totally understandable why they would do it. Um, again, uh, I, I got some of my stats of most of my stats actually off a, a website called Whiskey Base. Which is a very, very thorough uh, database of, of whiskey all around the world. Now, there's three distilleries in Mexico, and they produce whiskey. Okay, now I have to, I have to clarify this. These are not all distilleries; they're whiskey uh, producers, if you like. Uh, some of these will be buying in there. They won't own a distillery, but it's whiskey brands, probably whiskey uh, producers, distilleries, brand founders. Okay. Uh, rather interestingly, Papua New Guinea, uh, the <laughs> distillery over there, uh, they spell they spell it EY. Is that is that is that Papua New Guinea that one? Uh, Captain, Captain Moresby. No, uh, Cap that's the, that's yeah. it. There, I have I have it here. Captain Moresby. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Captain Moresby. This is produced in Papua New Guinea, which I find there's 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 only one whiskey distillery in Papua New Guinea. So <laughs> I mean, there's. I'm going to go through a few other countries here that have whiskey distilleries. That's the Philippines. Again, the Philippines was a, an American colony for a while. So the embassy one uh, is is it's kind of understandable as to why they would have uh, let's spell it the American way, if you like, the, the Irish way. Uh, Poland, spell it with an E. Um, these are not hard and fast rules, okay? It's the same as most of this stuff. There's lots of exceptions. Um, so the Wolf and Oak Distillery, uh, spell it E-Y. Uh, yeah, I think I have there. Um, yeah. You should have. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Absolutely. A really a nice looking label, that, if I'm totally honest. It's very... I must Great. admit, some of these bottles, you know, they do speak whiskey to you instantly, even though they're not very traditional. Some of them. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I really like the design on it. I think it's really, really nice. Uh, another country, uh, Slovenia. Right, that has two distilleries, and um, one of which is the Crucifix Distillery. Right. I'll have to try and find that because there's an awful lot of photos tonight because an awful lot of countries have uh, fantastic whiskey. Now, if I can give some people a mention here uh, okay. tonight, uh, for technical reasons, even on Facebook itself, I can't actually see all your comments tonight. So, uh, you know, <laughs> Germany used both ways because they're fence sitters. Now, I better say fence properly in case that comes out of something else because i'm pretty <laughs> sure i'm pretty sure that that too uh, we, we, we will deal with germany as, a, as a, 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 towards the end shall we say we, we, we will, will. <laughs> we will. Uh, james moira doherty is saying good evening from donegal chaps uh, hello uh, from donegal yes thank you very much for that uh, julie mason is uh, saying irish and american whiskey uh, spelling Gosh, this is going that fast tonight. I can't read them all. So let me say, Connor Rand, hello to you. Sean O'Neill, hello to you. Michael Matthews, hello to you. Sherman Wright, hello to you. Dave Cummins, hello to you. Trevor Watson, hello to you. Uh, uh, Paul O'Kane, uh, we don't know what's going on tonight. We're having some technical difficulties. We can't bring you your comments on screen for whatever reason, but I am reading them on Facebook as we do this, which Needless to say, you shouldn't do because the Mobius loop might try and kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me like that there. So that, so therefore, that's why uh, I'm not reading your comments out tonight. We are live. Trust me. Aren't we really live? Morty, how many fingers am I holding up? Hang on. I'm going to say two, but I can't see you. Can you not see me tonight? No? How many fingers am I holding up? I'm going to say two. I'm holding up four. People, people are going to think this is live tonight. You've got your hand on your chin. No, because <laughs> no, that's just, I, can't, I just can't see you. It's not that I, I have you on. I have you on the other screen. I, I brought up the, the the big screen, but I can see your four right. fingers coming up now. There's like a two minute right. delay. Two minute but. delay. I don't know how this works, but it amazes me. Uh, but we're talking tonight. Does whiskey have an E? Or does it not have an E? And why not? Uh, Morty knows why. Back to Morty, you, Morty. Morty knows why-ish. Now, those countries that I'm only after uh, rhyming off to you or telling you uh, are they're, they're kind of tiddlers in the, in the, the grand scheme of things. Um, the vast majority of countries spell whiskey the, the way the Scots spell it. Um, so, for example, Crown Royal. Uh, Canadian whiskey, uh, it spells it Scottish way. Hardly surprising when you consider just how many Scots actually went there. Um, there is this sort of story that uh, American spelling of whiskey came about with the mass immigration of uh, 1850s when I, loads of Irish poured in to the east, eastern coast of America. It's not really. It was it was being spelt uh, the way they spell it prior to that, and as I say, it was standardised about sixty odd years before that. So, uh, yeah, Canadian club. So it. Uh, I have 
uh, bu -bu 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 bourbon. So we have four roses here. But uh, Maker's Mark, uh, Old Forester and George Diggle, these are also bourbons, but they spell it uh, the Scottish way. Um, so again, that's, that's not hard and fast. We have India, Amrut, and they spell it, again, Scottish. Uh, Japan, we have a bottle of Suntory. Again, they spell it Scottish way. This isn't surprising because the uh, Japanese whiskey really just came about uh, from essentially one guy coming over in the 1920s over to Scotland to learn how to make whiskey. So it's not surprising that they spell it that way. Um, but to go through, uh, I'll, I'll go through some of the countries that, that spell it the Scottish way, and I'll, I'll tell you how many distilleries there are in some of these countries. This will probably come as a fairly big shock to a lot of people, because most people just think whiskey comes from Ireland, Scotland, the US, and Japan. That's essentially what people think these days. But you have in, now all of these are countries that spell it in the Scottish way, okay? In Australia, you have 47 whiskey distilleries. Wow. Austria, Austria has 61. Now, to put that in context, Ireland currently has 25 with another 20 on the books. So probably, probably heading towards a total of 45 within the next few years. And we're still lagging way behind Austria. Okay, Canada has 52, France 60, uh, you have the Netherlands has 34 whiskey distilleries, uh, Rwanda has one, the Thousand Hills Distillery, uh, which I, 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 love, I love the idea of Rwandan whiskey, and uh, probably quite good. Because it, it certainly looks that way, anyway. Uh, let me see, let me see, where are we, where are we? Uh, the Netherlands had 34. Uh, Sweden has 21 whiskey distilleries. Switzerland has 57. Um, but the big surprise of the whole lot is probably Germany. Going by whiskey base, which is fairly authoritative on most things. How many distilleries do you think Germany has, Justin? I would say if Rwanda has one, Germany probably has 100. It would have to have 100 because a lot of these websites are done in German for the German connoisseur. Well, if I said that Scotland has about 130-odd distilleries, how many do you think Germany would have? Well, it's not going to have as many as Scotland. It's it's going to have less, about a, about 100, I would say. They have 210. 210? 210 distilleries. Yeah. What, about, what about places like uh, Italy? Italy? Italy has one. Italy has one distillery. Uh, the, the, uh, sorry, it has four distilleries. That one, the, the Puni distillery, if, I have, I'd love to go and see it because it looks like the coolest looking building and just it's got real style about it you know that sort of typical italian it's got real style about it um the italians i'll run off of another few countries that have uh whiskey distilleries kenya has one uh Liechtenstein has the tesla distillery uh you have uh poland has four whiskey distilleries the, the pakistan pakistan has a whiskey distillery Wow, um, I thought I thought they were all teetotal there. No, no, they're not. Um, surprisingly, Russia only has one whiskey distillery. So it has. As I say, all you, you, feel free to scroll through all of these. Um, yeah, there's, there, there's, there, you sent me through hundreds tonight. There's, there's the Rwandan one. There, there's the Rwandan one. It's an interesting one because it's, a, it's quite. Well, it's a, a quite an avant-garde bottle there, it is, you know. Uh, have you tried that Rwandan one, have you? Nope. Uh, Justin, if you think of it, if, if you're trying to go through all of these stuff, and don't forget, some of these are, well, they're not cheap, cheap. They're not particularly expensive for, for entry-level ones, but getting your hand on them, by the time you get them over here, it can prove costly enough. And, and to be fair, 
you you can have uh, quite uh, you need to have very deep pockets to get lots of this stuff. Um, okay. I mean Australia. Now bear in mind Australia has a population of what 25, 26 million. Mm-hmm. Australia, Australia has forty seven distilleries on it. Right. Okay. Uh, lots of them actually in Tasmania. Tasmania has this great tradition of whiskey distilling. Uh, I once met a girl who was in charge of the Tasmanian Whiskey Academy, which it was, I, I, I sort of thought this, you know, this was one of these Mickey Mouse little outfits. It really isn't. Um, there's about 20 distilleries in Tasmania, and lots of them doing lots of very different things. So, yeah, it's... Uh, this, this whole whiskey world, as I say, it, it now is a global industry, and lots of new ones are coming on. And, and I know that I know we started talking about this with an E, without an E, et cetera, et cetera. But really, it highlights just how much uh, whiskey has come along in the last, well, certainly in the last ten years. Uh, and Ireland, when people talk about Ireland, um, new distilleries opening up and you know, where are they getting the traction from? Where are they getting the sales from? Where are they going to get the, the, the you know, the, the basically, is there room for them? Well, you have to think, if there's room for 210 distilleries in Germany alone, um, and Germany doesn't have a, a, a whiskey pedigree or or brand, essentially, I, I can't see how Ireland can't really keep going, doing what they're doing, you know, and, and really flourish in the whole, for the whole industry um, I really I really think uh, they, they can there's a there's a Ireland has an advantage over most of these distilleries around the world you know so people were asking uh, what about Russia 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 how many distilleries do you think Russia would have um, it's, not, it's a big country uh, but they're more into the vodka uh, yeah. so so uh, I would say 250. One. <laughs> One? One. The, the, right. the Kov school. I, I, my Russian, my Russian pronunciation is not very good now, I have to say. Uh, Praskovsky school. Distillery. There's only, there's only one. According to whiskey base, there's only one proper whiskey producing distillery in Russia. Okay. I will try and find that one to, to show it to you. Um a lot of people are having difficulty tonight. I can't actually see the comments in the system tonight for whatever reason. I do know there's an awful, awful, awful lot of people watching, but maybe it could be there's too many people watching and just can't cope with it because it does seem to be growing uh, exponentially, this show. Uh, so I can't actually see your comments tonight for whatever reason. So uh, I'm sorry about that. I will try and read out some of your names when I look it up on, on Facebook. I'm trying to find that big number six on the Russian bottle and I, i'm doing my best to find it scrolling through all the things as a go and i try and make the entire system not keyed over on me uh, <laughs> let, let's see who asked that about the, the whiskey uh, uh, the russian whiskey it was michael matthews asked that yeah okay. michael, michael matthews asked that uh and trevor's asking a very good question who makes the most whiskey by bottles that's quite an ingenious question trevor actually so he's he's doing it by bottles. Uh, yeah. uh, who, who would make the most whiskey would be probably uh, I would hazard a guess it would be our good friends over in India. I would imagine the Indians. You have to remember the size of of, of India. Uh, the best, the best selling whiskey brands in the world are all Indian. They make huge amounts of this stuff. Um, it's probably the quality of it would probably be debatable. Um, <laughs> this now, I won't not, not to say I'm disparaging about Amrit. Amrit, this this is good quality stuff. Uh, this is forty six percent, and this is Indian made. Um, but there's lots, lots and lots and lots of people drink uh, whiskey in India, and it's. I would imagine they probably make the most by bottle, if you like. But again, 
there's not very many distilleries in India. There's only seven, but they do make huge volumes of stuff. You know, this is the Russian one here. Uh, it's okay. must. Do they actually write the labels in English so you can understand what it is? I think they, I think they probably, that's probably what they do. Yeah. Um, the idea being that, well, Lord, whiskey, people know what it is. You know. Um, I, I've got to ask you this because some people are going to say. Do you have a backpacker locked up in your bathroom or something like that, Marty? Because I can hear some knocking in the background. Do you know what it is? Popcorn? The castle, the castle out the front is their uh, festival night. So there's fireworks going off. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I, I thought that was tomorrow night. I, I thought that was tomorrow night. It's fireworks going off. If you, if you scroll down this and go back about five minutes, you'll hear the first bag of me going... <laughs> so, I'm trying to be a cool Justin. I was trying to. Uh, no, we can, we, we can, we can definitely hear it. And I thought to myself, what on earth's going on? Is his son out the back kicking a ball about or something like that? There. You think I'm trying? You think there's uh, somebody locked in my downstairs bathroom desperately trying to? Click? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, no. They are, they are, they are having a party over in the thing. I, I've had to listen. I. Uh, I had to listen to Willie Drennan singing the, the Lamb Beg Rap. Now, for anybody who has never who has never encountered this, <laughs> oh, 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 you can't actually watch this online. By the way, it is online at their festival. But at, at least it wasn't Nathan Carter this year, or maybe he was there, was he? Yes, Nathan was there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need another drink. <laughs> well, totally, guys. Have you ever heard? If anybody, just to clarify. Willie Drennan is like an Ulster Scots musician, right? And he plays the lamb egg drum. Um, and as does all my, 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 most of my family used to play the lamb egg drum. I actually genuinely have a mini lamb egg sitting up the stairs that belongs to my cousin's son. Uh, and for some reason, I've ended up with it in my, in my house. Anyway. <laughs> They're very, it's very, very loud, by the way. It is very, very loud. Yes, my house is shaking a little bit. So... <laughs> so I thought it was a bomb I said for a second. Anyway. <laughs> let, let, we, we have to explain the topography to people. Glenarm's built in the valley. You live in a hill. You're yeah. actually higher up than the, 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 the turrets of the castle, but they're firing them from down in the valley up high, and they're exploding about <laughs> a couple of hundred feet just closer to you than there would be the, the population. It is yeah. safe. Uh, yes. Do not fear, fans. Do not panic. <laughs> <laughs> perfectly safe. Um, ish. <laughs> Just on this one. But no, uh, I started banging there and forgot all about it. I think that's that over. Um, okay. So do yourselves a favour. Check out Wally Drennan doing the Lambeg rap. He he raps, uh, and uh, one of the lyrics is, <laughs> "We don't do cocaine because it rots your brain." We. <laughs> <laughs> we just do the lamb egg drum. <laughs> All right. And you can actually feel your stomach contents move when they hit the thing. It is fantastic. The, 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 I have a little video of one uh, that I can actually share with people. I'll show, I'll show you it in the comments below. So, so you know what a lamb egg drum is. Yeah, we'll, 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 have, to, we'll have to tag Willie in this and uh, maybe share the link. Maybe share the link for the lamb egg drum. Oh, can I just... Aaron off, off the topic a little bit here. Um, just to let people know, I, I apologise for some people were supposed to get uh, the Dunville's whiskey package for last week. I know a guy who got his yesterday, uh, DHL. There was a problem. DHL, when you're posting something, when you're sending something out with them, have to have an email address and a telephone number um, rather than go and ask the people who won the the, the, the the samples for their information because they don't particularly want to hold that for GDPR and all that kind of stuff. I give them my email address and telephone number. DHL must have sent it out. If the, if the person wasn't there, that I get emails and stuff, and then people were asking me for confirmation codes and all that kind of stuff. I do apologize. Um, it was a bit of a mess up with, with DHL. I don't think it was too many people. It was maybe two or three people, but I do apologise to those guys because uh, they should have gotten. Okay, listen, it does it does happen, Marty. I'm actually waiting for a book, a yeah. book 
coming from Cumber about Rolo from one of our colleagues, and it still hasn't come. Yeah, that's... I, I could have walked to Cumber and back again and got the book quicker than, than, than it is, but it, it does happen from time to time. I think a lot of these parcel places are overwhelmed at the minute too, as well, because everybody's buying from home. Now, some some of these some of these uh, comments have popped through. Now you have to go to Irish Whiskey Review Stroke Live to comment. Some of these comments have popped through on my iPad but they haven't appeared on the system yet. I think Facebook's been having problems all week, actually, Marty. I think there was uh, issues with uh, stuff. Yeah, there was, I think there was a couple of people earlier on in the week told me that, they, that their Facebook just died on them. So I don't, I don't. Yeah, I had that. That's the first time I've ever, ever, ever happened. Uh, let me see. Jonathan McCulloch saying something very funny. A Scottish lad told me that Irish whiskey companies drop the E in the whiskey because they then think that they can get more liquid in the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a classic. Uh, that, 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 is, that, that is a classic. Uh, we've, we've answered most of the questions. Uh, we've got to do the Germany one. Right. We'll go on to the German one. Uh, the Germans... Um, spell whiskey some out, out of the 210 as you can imagine there are uh, variations on this so some of them are uh, with an E without an E and then there's this one from the Polar Distillery the, they they have it whiskey W-H-E-S-S -S -S it, maybe it's Rudolf Hess's whiskey this one H-E-S-S don't mention the word, Justin. Don't mention the word. All right. All right. But they have this, and it's to do with where they're from and stuff. But you just know that not to cast aspersions on the good people of the Republic of Germany, you just know that there was lots of German people sitting around, and they said, we will call this whiskey and spell it W-H-E-S-S-K-E-Y. We are having very good fun, are we not? Yes, yes, very good. Ha, 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 ha. You know, what, why did they not have an S set in it? <laughs> I, 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 I don't think having right in the centre of it the letters SS. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, we, 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 we'll, we'll be getting letters from the German boat shaft here. Oh, yeah. uh, I had a German lady, I had a German lady in the house here today, she came down for her dinner. She was working up in Ganar for us that she popped on. And I told her about this, and she just rolled her eyes and just said, Germans shouldn't try to be funny. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Oh, very, 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 very good. Now, we have another German one here. Uh, is that one? Uh, beaver Batch. Beaver Batch. Beaver Batch. We're, go we're, we're going to get in trouble. <laughs> did I? What did I say there? Beaver I have to lean over to see this because I can't. I can't turn it round in this system. Uh, Beaver Bach. Beaver Bach. Yeah. Yes. See, they spell it the American way, the Irish American way, whatever way you want to put it. Then you have uh, other distilleries that don't. They just spell it the the, the Scottish way. But as I said, I you have, you also have uh, Maker's Mark, which is a, a bourbon, uh, which which. Spell it the Scottish way. Okay. Now, I will just make a mention of the new Waterford Distillery, uh, who have recently opened up. Or, well, they've been open a while now, but they've released their own uh, whiskey, their own spirit there a few weeks ago. And they are doing away with convention. And they spell it. I think you have you have a picture of their bottle, like the, the blue bottle. Uh, is, they it, know, is, it, is it that one there? Yep. The one. And if you notice just over in the right there, they, they spell it W H I S K Y. Now on their website they 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 write about this and about why they spell it like this. They say that E Y is a marketing ploy. It's really not that old, and actually, the proper way of spelling whiskey is without the e. Uh, under the European Union technical file of of what um, whiskey, uh, it states all 
uh, whiskies uh, has to be Irish whiskey has to be spelled. It can be spelled either W H I S K E Y. It can be Ushkabay Iranach, or it can be Irish whiskey spelled without the E. So they've dropped it, um, and they've re returned to the the sort of old way of doing it, if you like. So hopefully the. the they probably quite like to get some letters about it. <laughs> letters of complaint about it. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of what they're sort of are setting out to do. They're, they they kind of want to shake things up a bit by by the way they're doing things. Um, and this is one of the ways they're doing it. Interestingly, what Waterford are doing is uh, they're doing single farm bottlings. So they they, they went round to single farms uh, and are making whiskey just from basically this field and they have this uh, database as such where you can go and find out all the story of what's in your bottle etc etc um, yeah so that is that is essentially the, the whole story of the E and without the E and it's, it's just a pity I can't get any real any questions because um, normally people do ask this, uh, but maybe if, maybe I've sort of covered enough of the whole thing to, to, to satisfy people. But that that's essentially why we spell it with me. It's basically in Ireland a it was a, a marketing ploy, if you like, and it stemmed from if you like the the, the US, uh, who was the biggest market for it. It's quite strange because I know there has been twenty seven comments now. But mm -hmm. I, can, I can only see four of them when I look in Facebook. And I can see more when I look on... Uh, I can I can see your names. I'll give you all a mention tonight. Uh, it's the same names appearing again. Weird. Really weird. Some, something is going on with Facebook tonight. So make sure you comment, like, and share. I, I do know there's a lot of people watching this at the minute. Uh, but... We can't see your comments tonight for whatever reason. Make sure you're always commenting, liking, and sharing on the ulstrawhiskey.com Facebook page, which is slash Irish Whiskey Review slash live. For whatever reason, I, I, I don't actually, it's not actually Facebook that I use to do this. It's a, a, a very expensive app. And I can't see. I can't see, and I know there's there's over a thousand people have, are watching uh, in the hour, but I can't see any any signal of anybody watching in the app for whatever reason tonight. So we do apologise to that tonight. If you're getting in touch with us, uh, I do know Paul's on again this week. Uh, Jacqueline Welsh is saying uh, Germany makes some really good whiskey. Sure, uh, absolutely, absolutely. And you, you have you have tried some of it. Uh, tried so. some of them, absolutely. Uh, the, uh, I, I'd love to try some of the the more outlandish ones. I mean, there's a whiskey distillery in Bhutan, which I I, I think would be a, you know, I'm sure. The, I, I see you've put up the the Kavalan from from Taiwan. Um, you know, lots of these countries. I mean, I I was a little disparaging of Indian whiskey, but. I'm this this is very good. I mean, this is peated um, Indian whiskey, and this is very good. And I'm sure lots and lots of good German distilleries, as there's lots and lots of good Scottish distilleries and lots of good Irish distilleries. And you know, I'd like to think at some point some of these um, important. I mean, likely the, the the likes of the Australians will end up getting a, a sort of regional. Um, how would you put it? Regional distinction of their own and I don't see why they couldn't uh, so as I say Germany Switzerland Austria there's lots of them Sweden um, Sweden has let me just check let me check my notes Justin let me check Sweden has 21 distilleries the McMyra this stuff so I have McMyra whiskey here um, Ian this is, this is good stuff this is this is well worth uh, trying um, so don't Get stuck in the, the don't get too hung up on spelling. Don't be writing angry notes to journalists who write <laughs> who write a uh, a page and misspell a whiskey from a certain region. It's really not all that important to be honest. But uh, as I said, I, I wanted to use this tonight to sort of show just how global 
whiskies are, and that uh, th th there are lots and lots and lots of things to try. And these are not white spirits. They're not. They're not like um, vodkas. These take time to make, um, and there are a lot more, a lot more craft to them than probably what you would classify as your white spirits. You know your your uh, your vodkas and stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to say on spelling. Uh, I'd like anybody, if anybody has any questions uh, to get back to us, you know. Always type them in because we do look through them as the week goes forward, mm -hmm. and that's how Marty decides what's he's, what he's going to do uh, ne next week. Uh, so we're, we're going to leave it uh, in five minutes' time. Uh, yeah. Sorry we were late tonight. There was technical difficulties tonight. Uh, not that we changed anything. They have updated the app recently. And it uh, didn't go through the first time. Actually, it was the third time we went through tonight uh, to go out. But uh, if you do leave your comments below, we do we do look through them and we do check them up. And any questions, Marty will try and answer directly. Don't forget that we have a uh, sort of blog, which Marty is going to uh, add to. And when I type it in, it, it doesn't come up on screen tonight. But I will, I will type, I will type it in so as you can actually see see how long it is. But if you go to ulsterwhiskey.com's uh, Facebook page or, or the uh, website, this is actually the address of the uh, to sign up. All you need to do is go sign up, click that, say you agree to the GDPR. That means getting sent junk mail from us which you'll find lovely and interesting uh, that is how you do it uh, hopefully you can see that on screen it hasn't put it through here for me yet also uh you can see it in the list if i type it in the list and send it to you you might be able to see that so that's how you join the uh, blogs because marty's going to do something very special because you're actually uh, taking part in belfast whiskey week which is nearing very close now marty yes 24 the the, the whiskey week kicks off uh the following monday so monday week i'll be doing a sold out introduction to irish whiskey so there'll be 15 distilleries 18 whiskies seven hours of me prattling on uh so uh yeah it uh but i mean the whole festival it, it's shaped up to be something outstanding we were talking to paul last week um lots and lots and lots of exclusives uh special releases Etc. Etc. I I have a piece on it in the Sunday Life uh, paper tomorrow. Um, yeah. So if anyone wants to take part in it, there's still tickets left. Although not, there's lots of sold out events, but lots of local distilleries, Irish distilleries. Um, yeah. So all good. All good. Now I'm going to read some of these questions, Marty, because they have managed to pop through some questions on here on Facebook. Uh, uh, Brett Breen uh, Malloy, uh, if that's the correct pronunciation, flyingtumblr.com. Have you come across them pre launch in Carlo? Um, I have uh, no, I haven't. Sorry, um, flyingtumblr.com. Is that a, I assume that's a, a uh, shop. Uh, uh, no, it must be, it must be, it must be some sort of whiskey shop. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Flying, fl <laughs> flying. No, my luck will be something black, bad. <laughs> Flying tumbler tumbler dot com. See flyingtumbler dot com, and we'll just have a look to see what it is. Oh, it's a new Irish whiskey. Ooh. And, and you and you haven't heard of it, Marty? He's got one over on you. <clears throat> They're coming thick and fast, Justin. The, 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 there's, there seems to be a new whiskey on the market basically every every couple of days. Um, lots of them are they're not distilleries. Um, they, what they're doing is they're, they're people are bringing out Irish whiskey. L lots of it is. Look at this here. Look look at this here. This is fantastic, Marty. Wow. Look at look at that there. Mm -hmm. FlyingTumblr.com. There's their, 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 there's their website there. Uh, let me see what it says on it. Uh, the a home, a shop, and a cart shop. Let me see. Oh, look at that there. The bird. Yeah. There's a, the, the, the bring it, there's, this, this is coming out thick and fast. I, I was talking to a guy last week who 
is building a distillery and he's talking about various new stuff um at uh the rate, the rate that it's happening at, at the minute is really quite uh really quite amazing um and there's lots and lots of new brands coming out not necessarily distilleries but lots of new brands uh michael matthews was talking about the new release from kinsale this week as well mm -hmm. yeah yep. lots of stuff that's what i say yep. it's it's almost impossible to keep pace of everything that's going on um the distilleries are are uh are coming thick and fast never mind the brands you know yep Okay, uh, uh, let me see some good comments in tonight. Given that whiskey and whiskey are both acceptable under the GI, it sounds like a wonderful fudge. <laughs> Should Irish distilleries do one thing, or is it okay to use different spellings in your view? It's okay, I guess. I, 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 I don't really see what the big complaint would be about using different spellings. Um, I, it, it seems that, I mean, in the US, there's distilleries that are brands that use different spelling. In the UK, it seems they have a sort of standardised uh, without an E, so the likes of Pindaren, uh, the, the new distilleries in England and Wales, of which, how many distilleries do you think there are? Whiskey producing distilleries there is in England and Wales now, Justin? Uh, I've seen, seen that map. There's about 60, is there? 57. 57. That was good. I'm beginning to learn this. Do you see now, Marty? Uh, mm -hmm. We've been asked a, a very good question. What about Greek whiskey? Now, Metaxa is Greek brandy, although it's not really a brandy, is it? Uh, no. Um, Greece Greece is not actually listed as having any whiskey-producing distilleries. Um, so uh, you have to remember there's lots of places that define stuff as whiskey that wouldn't meet the specifications for the product in the UK, for example. Uh, there's whiskies in the likes of the Philippines. Uh, the reason I know this is a girl brought me back a bottle of Filipino whiskey not that long ago, and it's only 35%, which would mean it's not a technically whiskey in, in, in Ireland. So, Even though there's a Greek Whiskey Association? Uh, there could be, yes. But don't, there's lots of Whiskey associations and whiskey groups. Um, these, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, a girl that you and I both know, German girl, she's from East Berlin, Zilke. Just if you own the bar, and she used to run the uh, East Berlin Irish Whiskey Association, right? Which is East Market, but uh, she ran a bar, and that's that's what she did. And she she told me once when they were closing the bar. She said for about three nights they had a lock in every night, basically drinking up all the, the old whiskey stock that they had. And she was telling me some of the stuff that they drank. But worth a fortune now. Worth a fortune. Uh, right. <laughs> they just all sat and got pissed on it for two, two, two or three days. But uh, yeah, but all these associations, the, 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 there's distilleries all over the world and there'll be an awful lot more popping up. Uh, in the US, as I said the other day, uh, in the US, you now have over 1,600 whiskey-producing distilleries. Um, so it's growing apace, um, and, and all the better, all the better. Okay, uh, well, that's great. Sorry we haven't been able to get through all your messages tonight because of technical difficulties. We can't actually see them appearing in the stream. I'm having to cross-reference and look them up on Facebook. Marty, is there any there that you can see that jump out from you, if you can see them? I can't even see you. You can't even see me tonight for some reason. Okay. Uh, we're on for a good night next Saturday. Oh, what's happening next Saturday? I don't know. Oh, the wee, the wee, the wee girls. He's talking about the wee girls, I think, maybe. Because the wee girls are on. Uh, uh, they're on, uh, on for longer. Uh, yeah. the, Maka, the, 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 the Irish trad group. They're, they're on next week. I think that's what he's talking about. Uh yeah. Or maybe Trevor's hoping that his bottle turns up in the post. <laughs> well, say, does anybody have any suggestion of what to talk about next week? <laughs> because because I wouldn't have to think of something. Shall we do a shall we do a prelude to the Belfast Whiskey Festival next week, Marty? And what's happening in it? 
It will already have started with that point, my friend. It will already have started what, with what, what date is it today? Hold on. It's the 18th. Yeah, you're, you're, you, what, tell us when people can catch you. You're sold out, are you? I'm sold out on the Monday, yes. I'm sold out. So it's an introduction to Irish whiskey. As I say, 15 distilleries, 18 whiskies, and seven hours of me. Hopefully not just me uh, prattling on. Uh, but I'll be hosting it, and uh, that's the, the plan. But if you go to a Belfast Whiskey Week on Eventbrite, Eventbrite, you can... You can book there is some availability there because actually what they've done is they released extra and the the one that fascinated me was the the old whiskies you said that was well worth trying because they've, they've doubled up on it well put it like this excuse me there'll be there'll be whiskey there that once it's gone it's gone forever and you'll never taste these anywhere else um the, the irish irish whiskey you don't really get there's tiny little, little amounts of it of stuff aged sort of 30 years plus um the reason being there was, there was no distilleries people weren't drinking it back then so to get stuff that's pre sort of 1970s um it's it's i mean it's there was very little of it to start with um doing the likes of these that paul has set up there's always going to be less and less and less. You're never going to get more of it. So it's totally unique. Um, the one that I'm most interested in is he's done a, a buck fast finished. What they did was they got a, a little small casks, filled them with various weird and wonderful stuff, and then um, filled it up with whiskey to see what way it turned out. Um, one of which was, is, is buck fast. Uh, another one was WKD. And it's just... It's just fun, you know, and that, that's what this should be all about. I, I get really sort of fed up with, with guys sitting, I guess. Yes, I can smell hollyhocks and, and, and spring mornings and bubblegum and holly and heather and barley. And it's like, guys, just make it a bit more fun, you know. Um, and hopefully hopefully that's what we do. I think, I think we try and keep things on a, a bit more of a, a, a fun level, you know. And there's also going to be quite a lot of entertainment in this Belfast Whiskey Week online as well. Yeah, lots of lots of musicians, lots of comedians, lots of that kind of thing. So it's the biggest Irish whiskey festival probably in the world. Um, I, I can't see there being a bigger one. Um, and it's it, in this is the second year of it running. Last year, it was, it was basically done in a few weeks to try and get it, it put together. Uh, it, it went well this year, but the post put more had more time, more effort, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think what he's put together is really superb. And there's a well, round of applause, well done. You know. Okay, and if you want to find out more about Belfast Whiskey Week, all you need to do is go to the Belfast Whiskey Week events on Eventbrite, and you can actually uh, see the uh, list of things that is left here. If you want to look at this, uh, you can actually see uh, that there's uh, certain uh, events have been sold out, uh, but there are 43 events uh, still live. Uh, and if it shows up that there's uh, availability, that means that you can book it and go to it. There it is there. So a lot of these have been doubled up and extended uh, because of demand. But there's certainly time for you to get involved at the minute. So there's a list of all the events that there's still some availability for. So have a look at that. That's Belfast Whiskey Week uh, taking place from Friday, uh, July the 24th. Yep. So, Marty, Marty we'll, we'll catch you next week if you're still in the land of the living after, <laughs> uh, after the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Belfast Whiskey Week. Uh, <laughs> as long as as long as as long as the earl over here doesn't blow me to pieces, with fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. If it's not one thing, it's another thing. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Sorry we couldn't put everything on screen because of technical difficulties. Speak to you again uh, during the week, Marty. Take it easy. Good night. Bye bye.